Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel 2010. I was asked a question by one of my viewers, and that question is, when using a VBA user form that has a command button, how can you use that button to open up a new user form with a web browser? Now, we're not going to be using the create object internet ex explore that application method. Instead, we're going to be using the web browser control that is built into Microsoft Excel. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and go to our developer tab. And of course, you know, be in a new workbook. But since we have one already set, we're going to go to our Visual Basic environment. I'm going to go ahead and use this drop down to insert a user form. So we have our blank user form. I'm just, I'm just going to click the user form. And to our left, we have our properties. This is the default location. If you don't see it, go to View and select Properties window. I'm going to go to my caption. And we're going to change this to just main. You can name it whatever you'd like. In this case, I'm going to name mine main. And for our toolbox, I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to hit additional controls. I'm going to scroll down until I have Microsoft web browser checkmarked. In this case, mine's already checkmarked, but more than likely on your application, if you haven't set this up already, that icon's not going to be there. But go ahead and check mark Microsoft web browser, or in this case, sele select it. Go ahead and hit OK. This icon with the earth should show up. In this case, that's our web browser icon. I'm going to go ahead and draw that onto our user form. And one thing I'm going to do is change a property on my user form with my user form still selected. The property I'm going to change is show modal. By default, this value is true. When this default, when this value is set to true, let's go on and I'm going to execute this application real quick. You'll see that I'm not able to click the workbook and that can be pretty annoying. It's the same thing when if I was to open up a user form, another one, this user form would be disabled and the active one that opened up would be the one that we could click. And we don't, we want all user forms to be accessible, including the work, the workbook. So we're going to set that value to false. When it's set to false, we can click the workbook as well as other user forms. So going back to our Visual Basic environment, I'm going to go ahead and open up the user form. I'm going to put a command button on it. I'm just going to change the caption to go. And we'll go ahead and add a text box as well. This is where we'll type in the web browser URL. In this case, I'm just going to put for a default value, Google. And that's textbox1.txt. Well, I'm sorry, the name's textbox1, but when we write out the macro, it's going to be textbox1.txt. So it'll be web browser1, which if we go back to the user form, we'll see this is the name of the web browser. Web browser1.navigate. We want to go to textbox1.txt. And if we just play this, hit go, the page that we have entered in right here will open. But let's just say you need a, you need or want to have that loaded up into another user form, which is the question that I was asked. Then what we need to do is create a new user form. We'll call it use, um, first off, select the drop-down menu, insert user form. This form is user form two. By default, that's the name. You can change it if you'd like. But we're going to put a, another web browser here. And again, uh, we want to change that default value to false. You can add a command button if you'd like. In this case, I'm just going to write close. And under close, I'm just going to put user form two dot hide. And so let's go ahead and do this on user form one. We're going to create another command button. We're going to say load second form. And all I'm pretty much going to do is copy our code from web browser one that navigate, but I'm going to get it from user form two. I'm going to change it from user form one to user form two. I'm going to go to open up user form two. If we look at user form two and we select the web browser control, we can see that the name is still the same web browser one. However, it's now on user form two. So 
going back to our main user form, we're going to double click the load second form button. Here we're going to type in user form two dot web browser one dot navigate. And this is where we'll put text box one dot text. That way this doesn't get too confusing. You can always type in user form one dot text box one dot text. That way you know exactly what you're referencing. Once you do that navigate, you want to show the user form, user form two dot show. Now let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to activate the main user form and I'm going to hit the play button or F5. And I'm going to put load second form. Once we do that, we see that the page is navigating and user form two shows up. The close button, if we click the close button, it should hide user form two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close out both windows. Let's just say that when user form two shows, you want user form one to hide. You can do that. You can put user form one dot hide. And if we hit play, we'll do load second form. We see that user form one was hidden. Now user form two is showing. We hit close. User form two closes. We're back to our workbook. And I'll, let's just take this one step further on user form two on that close button. If you want to go back to user form one, it's very simple. After user form two dot hide, simply type in user form one dot show. So let's go ahead. And hit, uh, we're going to activate the user form one. Hit F five or play. We can first off hit go, and then again, this only puts this browser. But we want to open up the second form. So load second form. We see that Google um, loads up. We've hit close. That does take us back to user form one. That now concludes this video for a question that I was asked on my forum. Thank you so much for watching.